Hi, I'm back again. Uh, this time I wanted to talk to you about using one of Decoart's new products. This is Decoupage or Decoupage. This is a decoupage medium unlike any, most of us have used um, Mod, Mod Podge over the years or a variety of different um, decoupage adhesives. This one is a little bit different than most. Um, and this is what I've been using lately to um, to attach my paper backgrounds. Now, I'm not a paper crafter, so I get a little frustrated um, working with it at times. And um, I have been using texture mediums to apply them, and I've been using other adhesives. But I found that this one, this decoupage, actually works the best. Now, these paper backgrounds that I'm talking about are um, like this one in the Oliva, or um, for this one in the bath piece where we've done Instead of using a traditional painted background or a textured background, I've incorporated um, some old newsprint and used a decoupage medium to create the backgrounds. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, um, with the advent of scrapbooking and it being so popular, there are literally thousands and thousands of designs available to you. The one that I'm working with today is from Tim Holtz. This is from his idea ology line. Um, these ones are available at Michael's. Beautiful craft paper with an embossed, um, like a resist stamped technique on the paper and then uh, this beautiful printed handwriting. This will create a really gorgeous um, vintage background look for uh, almost any subject matter. Um, and, but I'm really quite partial to these and you don't want something that's going to be too glossy because then it's very difficult to paint over. That's one of the reasons that I like this decoupage medium so much. Uh, to apply it, it's really quite simple. I'm going to set the, the paper aside for the time being. And I'm going to find a nice big um, brush that's going to hold lots. And in this case, I've got one of my big faux squirrel angles. Nice, big, hold lots of moisture. It's a re These are really great brushes for this. Now, I'm going to um, put a very generous dollop of this decoupage um, medium in the center of the board. Now the trick to um, applying a paper, and in this particular case the scrapbook paper, it's a little thicker um, than some, and it's not as likely to wrinkle or buckle as some other papers will be. So that is actually on your side. So you're going to distribute this decoupage medium as evenly as possible across the surface. We don't want to have gobs and gobs of it in one location because then it takes forever to dry. Um, but we do want it fairly even and you have to have a fairly generous amount on there so that the paper sticks um, really well to the surface. So I'm going to use this big old brush, move it around. And if you need to put more on, put more on. You need to work fairly quickly. Um, the best benefit to this decoupage medium is that it does dry very quickly. Um, not so quickly that you can't work with it, but quickly enough that you're not waiting forever for things to, to set up. So, now I've got a fairly even distribution across this surface. And the other nice things about this, this stuff does not have much of an odor. It has a slight uh, order, kind of reminds me grade school. So once you have your decoupage medium in place, you're going to position your paper. Now in this case, I'm using a 12 by 12 artist panel, and as luck would have it, I have a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper. So I'm going to line it up as evenly as possible, and then starting from the center, I'm going to push out. Don't apply so much pressure that you end up shifting the paper, but push out from the center and back towards you from the center. And this will seat the paper nicely. You may get a little bit oozing out at the edges. Just run your hand along the edge to put it in place. And make sure that the corners fit nice and snug. Now, I have that nicely in place. Now, if you have a brayer, and you know what a brayer is, it's a handle, looks like a paint roller, but it's actually a hard rubber thing. If you have a brayer, then by all means use one. But if you don't, then just use a bottle decoupage 
to push the paper and seat it well into the adhesive. There we go. So it's now firmly in place. And then remember what I said, the paper is not that thin, so you're not going to get a whole lot of buckling. But the idea is just to simply remove all of the bubbles and the blisters from underneath it. So from the look of this, we've got it nicely seated. We can take this, go put it under the fans and let it dry before we move on to the next step. And as luck would have it, I already have one dry, so we'll set this aside. And through the magic the television, there it is. Look at that. But dry as a bone. So this one has dried very nicely, very firmly. We don't have any peeling corners or anything. So now we're going to come back and I'm going to put a smaller amount of the decoupage in the center. And working from the center out, we're going to apply a thin, even layer of the decoupage over top. Now this is a matte finish. It's also available in a gloss. I personally prefer the matte. If I want it to be shiny, I'll make it shiny later on. <laughs> Besides, the matte's easier to paint over. So, I'm going to evenly distribute this, or as evenly as possible over the paper and the edges. Remember to pay a little attention to the edges as well. So we'll brush this out. Nice and neat. Now, the decoupage medium will actually create a little bit of texture by itself just because of the nature of its viscosity, the thickness of it. So you have a couple of options. You can um, make that work for you, which I actually prefer. After all, I do like my texture, so I'm going to allow brush marks to remain in this finish. And then I'm going to cross hatch over the whole surface like so. So that the brush marks are the way I want them. And it creates an interesting background. Similar to that, um, you've seen the old um, art prints from the 1960s and 1970s where they've had a coating applied over them that looks like brush marks but actually isn't. Um, this has that same idea. So you're creating some brush marks and some texture um, over top of an existing image. So, there we go. This is the decoupage medium matte finish over top of scrapbook paper. I'm going to set this underneath the fans, we'll let it dry, and um, we'll see you in another video and show you what we do with it.